remain in will be that much augmented. No, what we're saying to them at the moment is if you do not do what we say, we will leave. That's what we're saying. And the British people, we all know, it's very, very convenient for politicians to use this word referendum. When we don't, this country does not have a, does not have a history of referenda. It's only recently that we've had referenda. Basically, the, yes, argument, has all, no, the, basic, the basic argument has always been that we elect our members of parliament and they then decide. We don't then go out and do a referendum left, right, and centre on every issue. We're you not just switch the referendum on the voting system. It was you who foisted the referendum on changing the voting system in this country. You will sit okay, down. gentlemen, we're being asked, of course. Do so we have time for one more? Or? Uh, yes, we're actually fine. We can go uh, down Okay, so this gentleman fast. with his hand up, that would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Don Flynn from the Migrants' Rights Network. Um, I wonder if the panel would accept that it's not just UKIP that's done so much to create a toxic atmosphere as far as immigration is concerned. And in our own ways, all the representatives of all the parties on this panel have made a contribution. The 2014 Immigration Act, which was set out to create a hostile environment, was both the, a measure that was supported by both the, uh, the Conservatives and the, and the Liberal Democrats, and Labour, I think most people felt, were totally ineffective in being able to challenge this. And I wonder if the panel members could say what they <coughs> really hope to come from their parties in this space the next few weeks during the course of a gen general election, which is going to mount an effective challenge to the claim that migrants are to blame for everything that's going wrong. Okay, so Andy, sorry, Andy, ineffective and looking forward. I thought I made a pretty clear and unequivocal statement at the beginning of the, of the in terms of what my view is on uh, uh, that, of course there are issues around um, open borders <coughs> and around migration and the way it's handled and the way that migrants are exploited uh, and the effect that that has on uh, indigenous working population. Of course there are. You'd be very stupid to say that there aren't. But economically, I want to put a thing on it by saying economically, migration has been good for this country. Socially and culturally, it's been good uh, for this country. Uh, where where, where uh, <coughs> politicians can be mature and not whip up uh, anti-migrant uh, fervor, as I'm afraid not just UKIP, but the Conservative Party as well, has fallen into the trap of doing. That's where the problems occur. I genuinely do believe that the British people are, are tolerant and receptive and, and understand that they live in a, a migrant country, a migrant, migrant, migrant community in that way. And I think we are an internationalist party. I think we've got, we have, we have a very proud tradition of supporting that. It's why, you know, most migrant communities in this country.